The patient is a 32-year-old female with a 10-centimeter fundal intramural uterine fibroid, a benign and hormone-sensitive tumor arising from the muscular wall of the uterus, which causes significant bulk symptoms and heavy menstrual bleeding. She was pre-treated with a three-month course of luprolide acetate, Lupron, in order to induce amenorrhea, optimize hemoglobin, and shrink the fibroid prior to surgery. A laparoscopic myomectomy, surgical removal of a fibroid from the uterus, was planned. Laparoscopic myomectomy may be considered in cases where there is adequate uterine mobility and sufficient space for visualization and surgical access. It is typically limited to less than 5 to 10 fibroids on imaging, with the largest fibroid not exceeding 10 centimeters. A transverse uterine incision is used to facilitate laparoscopic suturing for closure. The length of the incision must be gouged in relation to the diameter of the fibroid to ensure successful enucleation. Care must be taken to avoid extension towards the fallopian tubes or the uterine arteries. The incision will be made down to the level of the fibroid. Proper identification of the fibroid plane facilitates enucleation as well as minimizes bleeding. Care should be taken to ensure that the endometrial cavity is not harmed during the enucleation process. The fibroid plane will be dissected circumferentially to allow for enucleation. and the fibroid will be removed. A barbed suture will be used to reapproximate the myometrium in layers.